I want to tell y'all about something that I have gathered as a now more healed version of myself. Um, I remember when I was walking through the, you know, a toxic marriage and a marriage that was not serving either one of us well. Um, we were both not operating as a husband and wife should operate. And um, I remember thinking, I just need to get away. Like, I need to get away from my my kids, and I need me time, and I need, like, that's what's going to make me feel better. Um, and, you know, I learned over time that I was so broken that I wanted to find time away from my kids. I'm going to get emotional. Um, to feel like me again and to feel loved and to feel seen and to feel young and, you know, not to have to deal with the struggles of what was going on on the inside of the home. And it was about, I would say, about a year and a half ago when I realized one day that whole getting away from your kids to feel like you again is such a jaded broken mindset um because the closer I've grown to the Lord and the more I've learned and walked through and the more I've healed the more I want to be around my kids like there's no more for me. I need to get away from my kids or I need to do this to, you know, like, yeah, every mom wants, you know, a time to themselves. Like for sure. We're human. We need that. You know, if I, if it's a, a fun bath when they go to bed or if it's a movie to myself when they're asleep, if it's when they're at school going to get lunch alone, those things are awesome. But there's a different perspective of looking at that from the lens of I cannot be fully happy or fully okay or fully content unless I've got them elsewhere and I'm somewhere else. Um, and And I break for the mom who has to get away from their children to feel better about themselves because I used to be that way and the Lord has walked me through so much and shown me that they are my first priority my children are my first priority and so I don't care who it is or what they want to do period I for example I have date nights with my daughters every Friday night and um Yes, I'm, I'm not at all claiming to be the best mom in the world at, at all. Um, I have my own things. I have things that I struggle with, things that I want to be better at. But never again do I come from that perspective when it comes to them, you know. Now, if I'm out with friends or doing something, they're what I'm thinking about. It's not the opposite. It's not when I'm with them, I'm thinking about wanting to be with friends. And not many mothers talk about that because why would you? Like, I don't even know if I knew that was an issue until one day it wasn't an issue. So I do pray for the broken mom. I pray for the mom that's struggling, um, realizing that the real gem that we're searching for is already in our hands. God already gave us the blessing of kids. God God already gave us the blessing of being a mom. And that is our number one priority. That's what we are to steward first. And if we can't steward that well, why would he give us more? Why would he give us more if we can't steward our own children? That is, a pastor once told me, only God brings life. God gave us these children 
to steward. They are the lives in our hands. They are the ones we are to steward. And you single mom out there who's saying it's too hard and I just need to get away, it is hard. I'm a single mom. I'm not acting like it's not hard. It's difficult. But like, stop being so selfish. Everything isn't about us, you know? He's given us souls to nurture and steward. And what are you doing with it? That's my question. And I don't know, I was just so wrecked this morning thinking about that. Like, our kids are number one priority. That's, that's our number one priority. And if a friendship or a relationship or anything else comes above that, that's not God, we got it twisted. <laughs>